Hello, welcome. We haven't met before. My name is Jim. This is a Jim Payne ADB channel. And I'm just up here camping on the BLM in the Great Divide Basin of Moffat County. It's my second trip up here for the weekend, but this time I thought I'd just come on up and camp. So I got the tent. I've got the Grizzly 450 four-wheeler, which I'm going to be using this weekend to ride around. And one of the main things we wanted to do up here is learn how to fly the drone. We got one of these uh, DJI Mini 2 drones that we wanted to use for the Adventure Channel this summer, but we got to learn how to fly it. And we got junipers, we got canyons and hills and flat places just to learn and practice how to do it. So, anyways, welcome aboard and come join me while we. Go out on our adventure out here in the junipers and the sagebrush and not a soul around up here. The one thing I got to learn how to do today is how to take the drone and uh, fly it from my hand and then once again land it with my hand as well. So we'll see what we can do here. We're out adventure riding. We're not going to have little landing strips for the drone. It's going to have to be totally by hand when we work the drone. It'll have to take off as well as a land. And I've got this little lanyard with my controller to where I can control the controller and have my other hand free for the drone. Let's try it. Give it a try here. Prepare to take off. Now we ought to go ahead and try to land the drone. Let's see if we can do that. And it's coming down now. There it is. Done it. So we can take off from my hand and also land it. So if we're in rough country, it's not a problem to do it. So this is what I'm working on. Let's try it again. Grab it like a crab pincher is all you got to do and you got her made. That's it. A little bit of practice, but that's what I came out here to do. It's all practicing with the drone. Well, let's go out and uh, do some riding and some exploring. Looks like you did a lot of tree clearing here in this area. It's amazing. I haven't seen it like this before and I don't know what's quite going on. But anyways, I guess I'll find out. I'll have to call the BLM and see what's going on. Why are they taking the trees away from the road? I don't get it, you know? Okay, now for our next crossing here. Let me see what I used to do here. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, this gets a little edgy here. Lean all the way across. You have a slope there, can roll your four wheeler. Lot, pretty lot of people out here today, as you can see. Not a track one on my 4x4 trail here for people activity. You got a lot of deer, deer tracks. Uh, it's kind of warm today, so they're probably all laying under the junies, junipers somewhere as far as deer go, but they'll be out this evening. 
Yes, my friends, this is the Great Divide Basin right here. All the way out north. All the way to the Wyoming border. got this funny little area to get through again. A little tricky on the ATV. <laughs> yeah boy. It's always a fun hill. Kind of a little bit hazardous. Nice thing about a Grizzly 450, it is probably one of the meanest 4x4 four-wheelers ever made. I have a high and a low range. I've got four-wheel drive. And beyond that, I've got differential lock, and I mean full differential lock if I get in deep snow. It helps me get unstuck. I've had to do that before. And I've got also an overdrive power, which Puts all the power to the engine if I need it full throttle when I'm running those differentials to get stuck. So if you can't do it on a 450 Grizzly, it can't be done as far as trails go. It's got kind of a short wheelbase on it, so it's kind of a little bit easy to roll, but it fits in any pickup truck. And being that they're so short and everything, they kind of quit making them because of the rollovers, I guess, on them. But I've had this one, this is a 2008, and I'll never get rid of it. I mean, it's just a mean machine, that's all there is to it. It never gives me really any problems, it's changed oil, and that is it, man. Yeah, I got him that hill. It's like that. That's high range going up that thing. Now 450 cc is all you need on a four-wheeler, if that. Show you camp. We're going to go through camp real quick. It's what we call the flag camp. People know me know what I'm talking about. Flag camp. There's the tent, the truck, still there. Yeah, a tent, a tent still here. We're good. Well, we'll head up west here a little bit. See, we got up here a little bit of snow on those north facing slopes. north a little bit, get up on the rim. crawl over the rocks, lean forward, and you're good to go. Yeah. Plenty of rocks. No shortage of them on this road. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. 
We are on the rim now, pretty much. All right, I can show you some of the gullies here. Now we're up on the ridge. They're all just little sliver gullies that go down to the bottom. Hey, look at that, huh? Look at that. Pretty cool. Yeah. haven't run across any big bucks today but about this time of year they lose their antlers anyway it would be hard to tell what to jump up so this isn't bad four wheeling out here it's okay I mean not the most challenging but just to get out and go camping and go riding it's not too treacherous Go see lots of country. I'm just showing you guys all the little trails I've been on over the years. I still remember them. I guess the sometimers isn't too bad. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Ooh wee. Broken tree. Wow. Yeah, let's see here. Tell you what, you people don't keep these roads up like they should, huh? I don't know where the highway department is. Uh, go take a look. What the heck's going on here? Oh boy. Wow. That's no good. Wow. Huh, somebody must have got stuck or something down here. I don't know, with all this wood. <laughs> it didn't used to be here. But I don't think I'm going to take a shot at it today. I don't think so. I don't know. I used to come down here all the time, just go down the hill. There wasn't anything here. Nothing. But I'm not going to do it today. Shucks. Another trail to take, head back home or back to camp. A pretty trail down here. We haven't been on this one yet. today. We brought their truck up here. Getting toward the time of day to get the cameras out and start taking some pictures. I think I'm going to get the drone. Zoe the drone. I'm going to send them on a mission down here. And give it a try. I've been charging the drone battery on my uh, DC adapter. So 
So yeah. I ran it down about halfway, just screwing around, launching it this morning, launch and land, launch and land, launch and land. And I shot quite a bit of video this morning too, so battery down. Even though I got a couple extras, I got three batteries all together for the drone. They call it the Fly, Fly More package. A person like me you might need about five batteries with your drone. You don't want to send a drone out half charged to go out on a mission out across a draw or something or out on a ways out. But you got to have enough battery to fly back, fly home they call it. Down the hill we go, exploring, that's what we're doing. Haven't found anything today, nothing. But the more you look in sharp places, the more stuff you might find. I'd like to go down in some of these draws maybe tomorrow and look around, see what I can find. Right, I can find a arrowhead or something, a pair of binoculars that somebody would have lost. Sometimes I find hunting stuff up here. I got a pair of shooting sticks I found. I don't know what else, pocket knife different things I find if I look hard. People lose stuff up here every year when they're out hunting. Every year they lose their stuff. Well friends, I'm in my drone shooting area. I've been wanting to, since, ever since I got the Mini 2, my idea was to film this canyon. I wanted to do it. All the pretty red shale and stuff. And I don't know how it's going to go with the sun the way it is, but I'm going to send the drone on down up through the canyon, scale along them rocks, and we'll bring her back, and we'll see if we can get some ATV shots, just depending on our battery, what we got, and the inexperienced drone pilot that I am, I mean, it's really like being in diapers again, learning how to walk when you're learning to fly one of these things, you, you just got to be really careful and pay attention for what you're doing. steak tonight. What we're looking to do. Uh, what I can do. Cast iron's got to be really good. There you go. Chunk of butter.
and um, venison steak along with that. Get you a photo of that. There is some really fresh steak that you can't buy at the store. Venison, and we're going to spice it up in butter on cast iron. For tonight's dinner, you can't beat it. It's going to be really, really good. So, anyways, join us for dinner, but that's what we're having. Venison steak and a beer and a chair. I'm done running around today on the four-wheeler. I'm going to relax. This is the best time of the camping trip is when you get back with the four-wheeler and you start cooking. All right, I don't know. I like them seared and cooked and hot. That's all that matters to me. And then with that, I'm going to put a can of mushrooms in there, too. I like mushrooms with venison. I always carry a little can opener in my wallet with my hunting license is. Put these mushrooms in there now. Put these babies in there. And we'll put some more pepper on here. And pretty much dinner served right there. Yeah, I'm just down here in one of these little draws, exploring a little bit. Looks kind of interesting. See what there might be down in here, just a bit. Rattlesnake territory, huh?